Yes, honey. That's crazy that Cheerios is good for your heart. Is that true? Says here that Cheerios has whole grain oats that can help remove some cholesterol, and that's heart healthy. Oh my god, that girl's so cute. Oh! <laughs> Girl! <laughs> Who would cereal on their dad's heart? Yummy and delicious for children to put on their fathers. That's it? It's just a Cheerios commercial. So what happened in that commercial? It was a Cheerios commercial. This little girl apparently thinks that her dad is super unhealthy. So the girl asked if it was actually healthy for your heart. But um, I think she, she was thinking of literally. Went over to her dad, went to, as he was sleeping, put him on his heart. I thought it was pretty funny. And what did you think of the family? They seemed fun, funny, nice. I thought they were actually a pretty good family. They seemed like a normal family. A lot of people have gotten very angry about this commercial. Why? 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 Why is that exactly? How do they get angry over... But what? Do you have any idea why? No. No. Honestly, no. Well, people specifically are angry because of the parents. Do you have any idea why that could be? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything different about the parents to you? No. Wait, let me think. <laughs> uh. Well, what it is, is they're angry because they're mixed race parents. They're angry because they're mixed race parents. Do you know what that means? Yep. One's white and one's black. That's exactly why people have gotten upset. Why? I don't think that that is fair. What was this video made? The 1950s? Nobody... Oh my god. That's so stupid. But some people just fall in love like that. Very important people, like, made laws and stuff. And George Washington and, like, all kinds of different people who made that free, you know what I'm saying? Now it's different now. So people can do that. I don't know why people get mad at that. Is it okay for people to be mad about a mixed family? No, because there's nothing wrong with it. No, it's not okay. It's just the color of their skin and what matters if they're nice or mean. That's just messed up. There's a bunch of mixed race families. If people really love each other, then they should get married. What is this country for? It's something such as an E. Oh, equality. Okay, so why do you do that? I mean, like, just because you see a gay couple or something, it doesn't mean you have to say, Ugh, you're so disgusting. You're, you're kissing your own gender. It's their path, so really it doesn't matter. Why do you think people would be upset about that? I don't know. I I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. My brain doesn't wrap around the idea of, uh, it's, duh. It's because they think that their own race is better, even though it's the same. They're racist, like, it's just how they way they are. They're, they're probably raised that way. Because people are, are just racist. I thought Mar Martin Luther King, you know, spoke against this and fixed this already. Unfortunately, it's still not over from like the past. People, shouldn't judge each other on the color of their skin or their religion or anything that's different. You should only judge a person based on their character and their personality. Would you ever think not to marry someone just because of the color of their skin? I think that that's offensive. It really does depend on their heart and if they really love me. As long as it's a person, it's a person. It's not like marrying like a dog. Underneath it, literally, you're the same people. You have organs <laughs> and a heart. Where I live, like, it's no big deal. People with different like races and religions, they all just hang out with each other. But like in other parts of their country, it's more like stuck in the old days and prejudice and it's messed up. Have you ever experienced discrimination or racism in your life? Mm-mm. Um, no. Not yet, I'm hoping that I never will, and I'm hoping nobody will ever. It's just terrible if you do that. It's kind of annoying when people say, eh, you're Asian, that's not fair. You, you Of course you could a ace that test. I have some friends that would be racist just to be funny. So just because they do that, I do it back. I don't find it funny. They think it's funny because I'm the minority. They say it, I say it back, and then we go on to another conversation. I know that there's still like some racism in other parts of the world. I didn't think that it would still, you know, be here. The comments on YouTube for this commercial got so bad, they were turned off completely, and you can't even read any comments. What do you think about that? That's just sad. That's good then. I mean, they're they're protecting the, the people in the video. It's like the mob mentality kind of thing. They see the comments, 
They do. It's like monkey see, monkey do. Nobody likes an evil, mean, stinking bully. Nobody likes that because they realize that they don't want to hang out with them because they're so mean and rude and nasty. You don't need to leave bad comments when you have this big pile of some mean things. I mean, it hurts your feelings. Think about those people who are like of mixed races and stuff. They probably feel horrible because of this, and it's just messed up. Why would you waste your time on doing that? You can just like watch another awesome YouTube video. Like, that's what I do. I waste my life on YouTube. <laughs> so you're wasting your time going on the internet, going to the comments, and typing some racial slur for a Cheerios commercial. That's dumb to me. Truth. What do you think YouTube can do? Because comments on YouTube, there's a lot of bad ones. What do you think YouTube could do to try to help that? They could say at the end, like always, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Censor it. There's this game I play, Clash of Clans. <laughs> uh, and like, if you type something like a bad word, like the F word, it censors it. The only way you can comment on YouTube is if you have an email. You can probably track that email. They could just like warn them once, and then if they do it again, ban them from commenting at all. Public sites in general, you can't control it because of how many people there are there. The best thing they can do, if they can do anything at all, they could just shut the whole thing down. But that would just be sad. This is what I love doing and I would hate to see that happen, but that's really the only thing they can do. What do you think about Cheerios for actually making a commercial like this? They're brave. <laughs> I'm glad they did that. Sometimes in TV, it's unrealistic. In real life, there's families of all races. They should be doing that no matter how much, you know, hate they get. Don't delete it. <laughs> they probably knew this was gonna happen, but at least they did it. It definitely will get people mad, but eventually those people will just have, will just realize that like it doesn't really matter. If someone is watching this who thinks biracial parents is wrong, what would you want to say to them? You people are me. Please don't feel that way. It's really unfair to a lot of people. Just think of their heart. They could actually be very good people for all you know. For any racist, I think you should just like drop it. You might have been like taught that way. That's your parents' fault. You don't gotta do everything like exactly the way they have to. And what about anyone watching that has to deal with racism in their life or have biracial parents and people give them a hard time about that? What would you say to them? Just stay strong, broski. Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. <laughs> You'll get through it. Something will happen. There are lots of people who support it, so just ignore them. Just know that there are people that are trying to stop, you know, all the hate. I hope you get through all of this because those mean people out there, they don't deserve anything. Guys, do not care what they say. You are you. Stand proud for yourself. Be happy for your family. Tell them I don't care what you say. I am the way I am. And I don't care if I'm Korean and Asian or black and white. I don't care no matter what. I'm really sorry that you guys have to deal with this because it's really hard for you guys. It really bothers you? Yeah. <laughs>